All right, hello again. In the last tutorial, we had it so we could move our tank around using our uh, first script, the move script right here. Now what we want to do is get that camera to follow the tank as well. So you can see here I'm going into play mode. We can move our tank around, but as we go forward, it just gets really far away from us. So we need that camera that we created in this, in this game to follow the tanks based on our movements. So to do that, um, we need another script, but this time we can actually use a script that uh, is provided by Unity, which is pretty nice. So uh, you right click, and you'll notice that I cannot import packages when I'm in play mode. I can select it. Once I select scripts, it's going to yell at me, so make sure you're not in play mode. So we're going to right click, import package, and we're going to select scripts. Import, we'll just import everything. The other way to do that was assets, import packages from scripts in here as well. Um, so we have our scripts, and if we uh, drop that down, we have camera scripts, and this is what we're looking for, and we're going to use smooth follow. So if we drag and drop the smooth follow, follow script to our camera, like so, once we click on our camera and then inspector, we'll see that it now uh, inherits that component. So if we click play, like well, how come it's not working? That's because one of the properties in that component has to um, be set, and that property is the target. So what are you following? So we're going to click on this guy here, and we'll change that setting to uh, the camera is now going to follow the tank. And we're selecting on a parent, so that means it's going to follow all of these um, associated object game objects as well. So now we're going to click play and see if that works. All right, so you can see the camera is following the tank, but it's following it from like a side shot, and I don't like that. So how can we change that? Well, to do that, we can go right into the script that we just um, added, so smooth follow. We'll double click that. It's gonna open mono develop again for us. All right, so I'm in the script, and if you look at the code, um, you can see we have some parameters up here, but what we're looking for is the wanted rotation angle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say plus 90 and see what that does. I want about another 90 degrees around the tank object. If that doesn't work, I'll go negative 90, but uh, let's, uh, let's give that a try. So we'll click, click play again, and yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Now the camera's kind of far away. So there's a couple things we can do with that. We can go um, change the distance. Let's try it, try it right here. We'll just push distance from 10 to 5. It's pretty good. And we'll say height from 5 to 3. So you can see how that height changed right in the game mode for us. Perfect. So now you can see we're following our tank. Very cool. That's exactly the effect we wanted. All right, the next tutorial, we're going to work a little bit with physics. Thanks for watching. Cheers.